namri bookmark ngaran ja yakko garing wa ina pingo katuala ngilimurun ngo ninetja yukora kumat kala wangangora ka ngilimuro poko wikama ngilimuro ngo kalapal ngalapal mirena ulala nana katuala tiango pala daptun yukora we sit as one today on gomach land discussing politics business and most importantly culture before i start my speech i would like us all here today to pay our respects to gomach and every yongo clan elders past and present My name is Michael Garingori Inapingu, grandson of Dr. Galaro Inapingu. Some of you may remember me reading a speech at last year's Karma Festival. Since then, my life has been filled with many achievements. I'm an ambassador for a foundation called Bridging the Gap. I was invited to represent the University of South Australia at Parliament House in Canberra to reiterate the importance of education in remote Aboriginal communities. I also progressed successfully through to my final year of university, studying Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science. <laughs> my brother, Jim Millie, is currently finishing Year 12 and has won an International Youth Film Award. Right now, we are both in a good place, constantly driving ourselves to succeed and to achieve our goals. And that's why I am here. Because we are all here for one reason. We have all ha traveled here to Gulkala site in northeastern Arnhem Land to discuss about indigenous issues and our place as Aboriginal people in Australia. As I look back and reevaluate this past year and what has changed throughout this period of my life, I look back at what has changed in my community here throughout the past 12 months. I ask you all, visitors, academics, political and business leaders, what has changed? The theme for this year's Gama Festival is truth telling. To me, as a young man that lives in the city, spending my breaks with family here, the truth is too many kids are still abusing consumption of drugs and alcohol on a daily basis. Too many kids are not finishing school. Most of the Most of you youth here have still not even thought about their life potential or going to university. But this is not their fault, nor should it be blamed on our communities or on them. Nama natalu yoto yungo. This means this is our yungo children's future. These kids are also Australia's future. Our youth are just as important and have the same potential as any other Australian child. We are all human at the end of the, day, of the day. These are my brothers, sisters, uncles, fathers, cousins, mothers, sons, daughters. And we are born no differently to them in any way. We are sick and tired of seeing this constant cycle of drugs and alcohol and loss of hope ruining our communities. Children are growing up in this environment knowing nothing better. Consequently, this cycle we are seeing in our backyard, just keeps on repeating itself, brushed under the table by some of the most powerful, influential people. Why? Education is the most powerful tool for breaking down barriers. And the only way we can adapt 
with the rest of Australia whilst maintaining our strong culture. But why is it such a major problem we face as a community? And how can we work together to improve this? To political, academic and business leaders. We cannot sit here at Gama, observe our culture, talk in front of the media, make out empty promises and finish off with a pretty media photo opportunity saying, yeah, main mark, I did my bit. Because the situation we are seeing in our communities is far from main mark. We cannot just rely on a handful of leaders to fix up the mess that colonisation has caused us. Intergenerational trauma is still here and it should not just be us fixing up the problems we see in our communities. We cannot change the past, but we all together, Balanda and Yungo, as one, have the opportunity to create a fair and better future. If we spend months and years, rather than a few days at Gama, focusing on our future children, listening to our elders and communities and taking action, we can improve education and have a future where we have our own Yungo doctors, Yungo lawyers, teachers, but most importantly, positive role models. Please, we ask you all, it's time we listen to the truth and work together as one. Thank you.